Well, hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. Welcome back to another exciting video. And in this video, we are going to explore if we can use Markdown for content management in Flutter. So this is the package that we have Markdown 4.0.1. It's written completely in Dart, but the thing is that it parses Markdown into HTML on both client and server. So basically, if we use this, you're going to get HTML output from your Markdown. Now, well, as amazing as the community is for uh, Dart and Flutter, where we have many community packages, we have some markdown widgets too basically we have some packages for markdown too who don't convert the markdown into html but they convert the markdown into our flutter widgets if we talk about some famous one we have markdown widget and we have flutter markdown this is the one that i'm going to use and the basic idea of this video is that i want to see if we can actually use markdown in flutter how the parsing is and if it's really supported so that we can build either a content management system or i'm also trying to build a a note taking app so all right let's get started with that as you can see i already uh, i have as you can see i do have a project up and running i just have to open this up in my code editor all right so here these are the two packages that i'm going to use markdown widget obviously to parse markdown into flutter native widget and then we have google font here so that i want to modify the look a little bit now let's go to lib and main dot dot we have all this code let me just remove this quickly All right, so everything is up and running and now obviously before you move forward you should understand what markdown is but that's not the scope of this video so just do a quick google search about markdown and you should know now i am I'm just going to create some simple markdown so i'm going to say string and md content which is basically some markdown content now uh, to make sure that we show some markdown content here we have to use the markdown widget now in my app bar and uh, we have a body body is going to be markdown visit and in markdown visit we need to provide some data my data is obviously md content here let's do let's save this and now as you can in your screen we should see that we get heading one and heading two now as you can see this is actually markdown that's why we are going to see differences here for example um, if I just enter some random text here like I am a line you're going to see a simple line text here it's not going to be reflected we have to rebuild it you see you see a single line not just that if i do something like a block quote let's say this is going to be um a great note let's say save it now you have a great note i think we should be able to put images too if you want if i do a right click if i copy the image link if we come back here and obviously you should know the code to put the image we do a semicolon sorry we do an exclamation mark then we write just some name of the image whatever it is and then we provide the link if i save now let's see if we get the link or not so yep we are getting images too and last but not the least i think we should have some code support too let's say i want to insert some dart code here and uh, Alright, so okay, we have the code, we have little bit of syntax highlighting too. So simple terms, I can say, like we are safe to say that we can actually use Markdown with Flutter if we want to render some content. Now, one thing that I really want a lot, but I don't think will be available here is using checkboxes. So for example, if you're using Markdown, then you can simply do things like that. And now this is kind of a checkbox. So this can be some task. And in the same way, if there is an X here, basically then this is a completed task but if we take a look at uh, that here we are not going to get check boxes something that i really wanted a lot although i don't know why it's not coming out here now this is something that i really wanted a lot but i don't think there is some support for that as of now maybe in the future we can get that now moving forward uh, i mean as you can see we can easily render content now the next thing is styling the content because obviously this may not be the styling that you want for example first thing first i want some spacing here and i think we can easily do that we have const agents extra tall uh, value of 12.0 and there you go now you have some spacing not just that i also want to configure so for example if there is a heading i want that to be different if there is um code i want that to be different something like that and that's actually really interesting here we this comes with a style config option okay now it's style config we are going to have style config and this will give us multiple uh, styles multiple actually blocks that you can config accordingly so um for example if you want to configure how the title should be so you can do something like title config and our title config is going to be uh, title config again 
and here in title config you have h1 h2 h3 h6 and stuff like that so for example as you can see this title is showing a divided here okay and uh, let's say i'm not comfortable with that so i can just so, so uh, i can just do this so divider to false more than that i can also say that hey whatever the h1 is i want this to look different so we are going to have a text style okay and actually i want to um, have this a font so we are going to do something like google font dot and let's say rubik and then i have a copy with and what i actually want to do here is that i was just saying let's give it a font size of some 24.0 let's give it a font weight of and let's give it a color save this and as you can see now our h1 is already styled it's going to have purple color it's going to have a font size of 24 and it's, it's going to be bold we can just increase it save it again and now here as you can see this is our heading this is actually the best thing that i like here and I think now uh, I am safe to say that we can actually use Markdown in Flutter 2 to create any type, of, any type of content management system. Before I move forward, let me also show you one very interesting thing that people most probably will ask. That is how to uh, config the code, right? This code that you see, you may not like this. You may want to change the um, font family. Most probably you may like to change the theme. So we do something like code config here in the style config only, sorry. A few moments later. All right, so this is not coming good here. By the way, let me tell you something. This is not a tutorial. It's not like I've already worked on this so much. So I think it should be there in pre-config. Uh, let's do pre-config because if you remember, since uh, the markdown renders this stuff into HTML and HTML treats this as pre, so we are going to have this in pre-config most probably. And uh, I'm actually looking for themes here. So we have auto detection. Okay, now I think this is where we are. So it, first it has an auto detection of language. I'm going to actually set the language to Dart first of all then we may have some text style most probably okay yep we have a text style i'm just going to copy this particular uh, code style from here and we're going to paste it next thing that i want is theme okay and as you can see here yep we have theme so now this theme actually says that it wants a string and text style so let me save this let's go back to markdown wizard and let's see how they want us to give the theme okay so this is how we can actually import the theme as theme and then we can give whatever theme we want let me just copy this particular line of code let's go back let's paste it here let's go all the way down here and now i'm trying to do something like a theme dot let's say atom one dark yep atom one dark reasonable theme and uh, okay let's save it and now we have this okay although it's not coming dark let's rebuild it yep it's still light this is something that I can't understand and also it's treating this uh, this as a part of code. Now I think I may have an answer to why this is not working. Let's save this now. I was actually putting that by mistake in the code part only. Alright, so I have actually removed this from code part and although that was a mistake itself, I don't think this is also going to work. I have tried some different combinations. Maybe there's some mistake, we'll fix that later. Anyway, so this is not working. Let's try some. Uh, let's try some other dark theme. If we do something like uh, GitHub gradient dark theme or something like that, yep, the background is still light. All right, so we have this everything. I've also tried setting up this uh, custom checkbox builder, but I don't think it's going to work right now. Anyway, we'll talk about this later. I'm going to just set this to atom uh, one light since it's not accepting a dark theme right now. Maybe it will work. It will accept dark theme only when we are in dark mode. We just increase the font size so that you can see that the syntax highlighting is working correct now you may be wondering why you would even use something like that so markdown json yaml any such structures are widely used in any content management system and when you talk about any content management system what i want to say is that content can have anything in any order so if you are coding if so for example let's say you want to show a story in your application or the story can have any particular order some it may be a title then some block quote, then an image, then a video, then some text, then an image, then some other text. So this is not something that is pre-configured. And that's where you use something where you can dynamically render widgets accordingly. And there are different ways to do that. You can use JSON and render widgets accordingly. I tried to work on that. I did work on that. It was all good, but a bit hectic. Now Markdown is really amazing because as a developer, I know how to write Markdown. And if there is a way to pass Markdown into a content here, into Flutter widgets here, it's going to do uh, so much good. Like this is a simple markdown content, right? Let's say I want to show some story here. I have already copied some code for story. So I'm just going to replace this, okay? All this code, I'm going to replace this with my particular story content. Let's save this. Let's rebuild this. 
and now uh, this is going to show a story okay the story name is the wolf and the crane this is some story this is some image this is some more story and then at the end you have something what you call as an you know what we learn from the story more than that what i really wanted to implement using this was simple notes so let's say i'm learning something and i want to write some note now since it's technology i can't really write things in notebook like if i i got a bunch of code that i really want to keep that i so that i can use later or just i got some theory I, it's not really feasible to write everything in notebook and while there are very great apps out there you know this as a tech enthusiast i really wanted to work on something that is my own so for example this is a some sample note that you could be creating if you are trying to learn so let me save this let me rebuild this and just take a look at it okay so now okay now this is some sample note that you could be creating let's say i was working i realized okay okay i'm going to talk about cloud fire store here then here i have some block quote and uh, i'm saying that okay it's google cloud serverless database root level collection this is what that this your sub collection is this is how you can add data this is the type of data that you get this is how you can delete data and you can see this is how amazing it looks so i think the point of the video was that i was just trying out markdown i was trying to show you how you can actually use markdown now to render content this is something that i've been asked couple of times that hey i want this to be in this specific order or maybe it's orderless and i want to show this how do i do that use something like markdown or you can use your own json based rendering engine also i may talk about that in the next video or probably sometime later but well that's pretty much it from my side in this video we have kind of explored how you can use markdown wizard to render content now we did uh, see one problem that it's not rendering check boxes and uh, i also visited here although someone was saying to persist the check box is dead while we were not even able to render the check box so anyway i will talk about i will talk about this or i will work on this i will see if this can be fixed or i will also see if there are other markdown renderers who can do the job for us but anyway that's pretty much it from my side in this video i'll catch up soon in the next video talking more about flutter coding and what not till then keep coding keep loving keep sharing and peace